What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating an epic sketch illustration of Arceus from Pokemon. For today's lesson, we're using a black 4B pencil. Let's begin by blocking out the pose of our character. Using the side grip, let's use the flat edge of our pencil and sketch a small circle at the top of our page to define the size of the head. So start right in the middle. It's gonna work our way around towards the bottom and then back up towards the top. Now from here we're going to extend the hind leg coming down and out towards the left. So let's start from the center of that circle, sketch a straight line, coming down at an angle towards the bottom. Now halfway along this line we're going to sketch a circle for the front edge of the body. It's going to go a little bit larger than the head. Let's go to the top of that circle, curve the body coming down and then up towards the back. Let's bend the back leg out towards the right. Starting up here, it's gonna bend this out, and we'll bring that down towards the same height we have on the left. And then from the bottom of that circle, we're gonna follow that same curve, coming down, and then up towards that hind leg. Let's add some thickness to the legs. Starting from the bottom, curve this in, and just pull that up underneath the body. Let's go over towards the right side, curve this up and in underneath the body. Now we're gonna overlap the front leg on top of the body. Let's start on the right side of this circle, sketch an oval. This is for the arm socket. From the center of that oval, this angle is down and out. Sketch a small circle for the elbow. Now you want to bend the leg coming back over towards the left. Let's start from the center of the elbow, angle this up and over. Sketch another circle along the top. And then from the center, it's going to angle this down and out. Let's add some thickness to the leg. Starting from the end of that line, draw a straight angled line going up towards the top of that circle. And then going back to the outside, just going to bend this in and then up towards that line. Let's connect the top of this circle to the top of the elbow with a straight angled line. And we'll do the same thing along the bottom. And I'll connect the outside of the oval to the outside of the elbow with another straight line. Let's add one more leg in the middle. Starting underneath that elbow, start with a straight angle line coming down. Sketch a circle. And then from the center, angle this forward towards the left. And from the bottom, angle this up towards the left side of that circle. Go back to the bottom, just gonna bend this out and up towards the right side of that circle. And then from the outside of that circle, just angle this up underneath the body. Now let's go back and add some detail to the head. Starting from the very top of that circle, it's gonna start by going up, bend that down, round out the bottom, go back up, and we'll bend this back down towards the tip. Now we're gonna taper this curve back towards the right side of that circle. So we're gonna start by going up and down, round out the bottom, coming in, go across the circle, and then bend that down. Now you want to extend this curve across the top of the circle and then down on the right side. Connect these two points with a straight angled line. Let's add a horn in the front. Starting from the center of the circle, go up, bend that over towards the right, and we'll just taper this back down towards that bottom line. Let's add another spike in behind the head. Going up and out, taper that back in. And then we'll add a trim along the top. Starting from the tip, just gonna follow that same curve going around, just a little bit closer to that top curve. And come all the way over towards the right. 
Now from here, we're gonna draw on the side of the neck. Let's start from the bottom of the circle, curl this in and then down towards the right side of the body. Let's go to the left side of that circle, then the neck going out and then down. Let's add the tail along the back. From this point, we're gonna step in, start by going up and then bending that out. Curve this up around the head and then in. Now the tail is gonna get wider as we come back in towards the body. Let's start up here, taper this out and then down. And then just pull that in and then down behind the body. Now we're gonna block in that ring around the body. Let's start from the top and the center. So we're gonna sketch an oval, going all the way around towards the bottom of the body, and then back up towards the top. Let's go to the top right side of that oval, sketch a straight angle line going up and out. Let's go to the bottom right side of that oval, angle is down and out towards the right. Now you can do the same thing over towards the left. Let's start on the top left side of that oval, angle this up and out in behind the headpiece. And then we'll come down towards the bottom, angle this down and out. Now I add those large rings along the outside. From the top of this line, let's step in, start by going out, just pull that in towards that bottom line. Now we're just gonna extend this in towards the inside. And we'll do the same thing along the bottom. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. From the top of this line, we'll step in, curve this around, in behind the body, and just extend that out along the bottom and the top. Now we're gonna add that point along the back. Let's start from the base of the tail, curve this out, and then down, curve this in, and then down in behind the hind leg. Now I'm going to go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. I'm going to erase this in between the legs. Now once we're happy with the general proportions of our drawing, we're going to go in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details and refining our lines. I'm going to start at the base of this horn, starting down here. I'm just going to trace out the contour, going around, and just modifying the shape where we need to. Just adding a fold along the top of the head, in behind the horn. And then just layering that horn in behind. I'm just adding the eye along the top. Just thickening up the edge. And pushing the pupil towards the left side. I'm just lightly adding those lines along the inside.
Now from here, I'm just gonna move over towards the front leg because it's overlapping everything else. Now add that fin to the side of the leg. Now that we added some more shape to the contours, I'm going to go back and erase some of these guidelines. Now because these rings overlap the back of the body, we'll start with these first. Just adding some thickness to the outside. Tracing out the inside of that ring. Just adding a little bit of shape to the outside. Now we're going to go back and layer the tail in behind.
and now layering the ring along the back. Now going back and just taking out more of these guidelines. Now to give our drawing some shape, we're going to cast the light coming across our character, casting a shadow on the right bottom side. So let's start with the head. Starting with the side edge of our pencil. Just going to lightly add a shadow. And then just fade that out as we go towards the left. We'll darken up that back horn. and darkening up the bottom side of the body. I'm going to go a little bit darker with that hind leg. Across the bottom edge of the tail. Now I'm just going to go back and darken up the inside of the head.
working our way around the face. I want to go back and just enhance those lines in between. And we do the same thing to the center of the body. I'm just darkening up each of these gemstones, adding a highlight along the top. And as you get near the end of a drawing, I'll tighten up my shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Arceus from Pokemon. Now, if you enjoyed today's lesson, I hope you'll consider subscribing and smashing that like button. You can also check out more lessons like this in our sketch playlist. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.